Greetings, unsettled souls, and a welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. reporting for The Media Speaks. It is 4.12 in the morning, 4.16.2013. Thank you, Nick Popa, the best DJ in Ohio that I've ever heard, for reminding me that I should always do that. I also want to give a shout-out to the happy puppy who has done a lot of help for me keeping up on this Boston issue because my hours have been the exact opposite of when this has happened. So go to The Media Speaks. I know they did a hangout today, and it was a lot, you know, going to be a lot more conducive than what I'm giving you now. They were a lot sooner. That's just the way hours work until this is my only job, okay? But I want to give a shout out to the happy puppy. And I also want to mention the charity connection. If you're listening to this show, do me a favor, because there is a woman there named Denea Mobley Christ who has done nothing but help all of those in need, and she now has cancer. So do me a favor and check out the charity connection. All right, guys, I also want to give one last shout-out to Cindy Moser. Uh, look up at naturalnews.com slash images slash Boston hyphen globe. Um, it, it, there's more to it, but it'll come up if you do that. The Boston insanity is looking more and more and more like a false flag event. Now, many of you say that us libertarians always claim that everything is in fact a false flag event and that Adolf Hitler never existed. None of us say that. I don't. Um, look, if we end up bombing North Korea as a preemptive slight, a strike, I agree with Mike Adams. We need to do this. That means that I am in favor of a military launch if such is needed. I am not blind to the realities of the world just because I am pro-peace. Having said that, this Boston bombing has every single possible red flag glowing for all the world to see. As a matter of fact, let me say something that since you did tune into the correct views, since you decided to listen to me, and I'm sure you've heard other people's commentary on it, let me venture something forward that maybe other people will not get to, or at least so far, as far as I've seen, they have not. What if this is so obviously a false flag that they are either trying to put us in a comfort zone where we just begin to accept it, or... What if it is obviously a false flag in order to let us know once and for all that they are in control? And maybe they did it in such a way that people like you that are actually taking the time to shut off Kesha and actually listen to something, they're trying maybe to speak to us and say, hey, tone it down. Because we can do this in broad daylight. What if it's one of those two things? Is it? No, I'm not saying that it is. Could it be? Yes, I'm saying that it certainly could be. Um, this was said to me by uh, Bill. Go look up, again, the Happy Puppy. They make all natural dog treats. Think about it. Why do you want to give your dog garbage? All natural dog treats are really, really cheap. Really, really cheap. I used to have a dog. And I got biscuits from him all the time. Um, so, a happy puppy. All right, guys. Explosions rock finish of Boston Marathon. Three killed and scores injured. It has since gone up significantly since this. With thousands of... Oh, wait. Let me credit it. USnewsNBCnews.com. With thousands of runners still on the course, two bombs exploded near the finish line of the Boston Marathon on Monday killing three people, injuring at least 113, and turning the city's most celebrated event into a grisly spectacle of shattered glass, blood, and screams. President Obama, it goes on, said that authorities did not know who carried out the attack, but vowed to render, quote, the full weight of justice, end quote, against those responsible. Minutes later, law enforcement officials said that an eight-year-old child was one of the dead. Let me ask you a question real quick. How many of you also noticed 
if you went to Infowars.com. I'm not going to give you the link. Just type in Infowars.com Boston Marathon and it'll come up. Trust me. There are many articles. Paul Joseph Watson wrote some. I do believe John Rappaport wrote one. They were doing bomb testing drills at this site at the time, as was noted by one of the coaches of the runners, that there were bomb sniffing dogs at the beginning and the end of the marathon. Now, either they suspected that something awful was going on but didn't have the responsibility to stop it, negligence, or this is a staged event. Let me show you how this works. I take this healthy vitamin water here and I throw it to the ground. Now I don't know what caused it to fall. It was in my hand. Don't blame me, blame gravity. Look, if we prove it's a false flag, they're going to use it against us. And if we don't prove it's a false flag, then we're going to look like idiots. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Again. I don't really care what in seven hells people say about me. This is ridiculous. They had a test for what just happened to be occurring, and the test just happened to fail? Baloney! I don't believe a word of it, and if you do, you're an idiot. And I haven't even had a chance to check what uh, Coyle, Ky uh, Kyle Court and D-Lake have to say about this. So this is not all of us on one channel agreeing. I haven't had a chance to see what they thought of it yet. I was at work, and I was compiling data as soon as I heard that this happened so that I could record on it, and I saw the court had, but I hadn't had a chance to yet. This is the correct views take on it. This is utter insanity. How in the world could anybody be stupid enough to believe that the, what you're getting from the mainstream media is the whole story here. There's even been coaches now that have noticed that there were bomb sniffing dogs there. So if they suspected it, what the hell? You couldn't have stopped it? You know what? I, I, there's, there's been other people talking about it. I'm not going to do the whole show on it, but people, this is obvious. Come on now. You don't even have to use the thinking part of your brain to think of it. All right, Natural News, Jonathan Benson. Biotech lies exposed. Genetically modified corn contains practically no nutrients, but is loaded with chemical poisons. There are some things, and I end up saying this every week, that you just wish that you were not right about. This is another one. A breakthrough report on the nutritional density of genetically modified corn crops demolishes all existing claims that GMOs are, quote, substantially equivalent to non-existent GMOs, entitled 2012 Nutritional Analysis, Comparison of GMO corn versus non-GMO corn, the paper reveals not only that GMO corn is greatly lacking in vitamins and minerals compared to non-genetically modified corn, but also that it is highly toxic and filled with deadly crop chemicals like glufosate, which is Roundup. And for those of you that don't know, Roundup is what you spray that kills cockroaches. But I always heard the cockroaches are hard to kill. They are, and it kills them dead, and it's in your corn. The owners of the blog, MomsAcrossAmerica.com, say that the report was shared with them by Dell Seed Company, Canada's only non-GMO corn supplier, which obtained it from a Minnesota-based agricultural company called Profit Pro. Now, I know a lot of you are going to say that because a Dell Seed Company is the last non-GMO, that they are doing this to increase their own bottom line. Let me ask you something. They can't fake the fact that they obtained it from Profit Pro, so that argument is already dead in the water. Overall, the paper found that non-GMO corn is 20 times richer in nutrition, energy, and protein compared to GMO corn. 
Concerning energy content as measured in terms of ergs, a non-GMO corn was found in tests to give off 3,400 times more energy per gram per second compared to GMO corn. Guys, those of you that are not interested in the food stuff are going right to sleep, and that's because you don't care what happens to your own health. For those of you that do care, I have given you enough information that you need to go and look this up. One more time, it is from Biotech Lies Exposed Genetically Modified Corn corn contains practically no nutrients but is loaded with chemical poisons and you can find that on Natural News and it goes on from there but I gave you enough that you know that this stuff is toxic I have done my job I have warned you I shall not bore you to death um, allgov.com interest on student loans to give government 34 billion a year in revenue you know what I have always agreed on the correct views that you're real. If you're not real, you, you have no credibility. I am very good with money, and I am probably going to be going through a bankruptcy very soon. Because while I can obviously be very good with money when I have it, I spent most of my adult life working jobs where I was practically stolen from. And I did everything. I drove cab. I did telemarketing. Basically, pieces of human filth that employ people. Um, and I don't know. You know, you, you work with what you've got, not which ones you want. The point is, I've always said that I am very good with money, and I am going bankrupt probably because I never had any money in which to be good with. Um, and that's changed to some degree now, which is why I am going bankrupt so I can move on. Yes. All right. I did the whole student loan shuffle. Everyone said, you got to get your degree. Yes, I'm making a lot more money now that I've got my degree. However, there isn't anything that I learned in my degree that is necessarily helping me at the job that I have now. I know how to program a light board. You know what? You can teach someone to program a damn light board without a degree. But you know, for some reason, it's rocket science. I don't know. I, I'm a DJ, I run lights, I program lights, I build websites, and that's all been outsourced. The point is that everybody told me that I should go and get a degree, so I went and got one. And what I did was got myself in so much of a financial hole that I may never again see the light of day. Am I happy that I got my degree from Stark State College? Yes, I am. And I'm just being real with my listeners here. If you're not one of my listeners, you're probably bored to tears and catch the next show or the one before it. Guys, I'm being real. I did what everybody told me to do, and you know what? I don't know that it really made that much of a difference. I don't really need a degree to do what I have now. Most of which, what I know in terms of my degree has already been sent to other countries, or a lot of it's music-based, and you know, unless you're worshipping the Illuminati, we all know that you can't get anywhere there. So, I mean, I don't know that college did all that much for me. I don't know, but... I did what everybody told me to do so that I can relate to this, and I'm sure a lot of you can as well. Even as the economy struggles to recover from bursting in the subprime mortgage, and once again, this is allagov.com, in the debt bubble of 2008, a new debt crisis over student loans looms on the horizon, and this time the federal government is actually profiting off the debtors. If a coming interest rate increase is not averted by Congress, millions of student borrowers could be thrown into default with devastating consequences, not only for themselves, but for the economy as a whole. And that is true. And again, a lot of people take on debt because that's what they're told to do. Do anything you can. Sell your soul to the devil if you have to, but get your degree. At present, student loan debt stands at $1.1 trillion, more than all other consumer debt except for home mortgages. Maybe it's time that we make one decision or the other here. Either we are going to take the libertarian route, which is what I would like to see us do, take the libertarian route and eliminate income taxes and make colleges more affordable by having government stop funding them in ways such as this, 
and the price of, price of colleges come down and the price of average incomes go up and guess what we can all afford to go to school or do what I hope that we don't do and make college free because we are entitled to it. Do one or the other because we're doing both and that is a disaster! Meanwhile, the Federal Department of Education is making big money from student loan payments. Its direct loan program yielded a $27.5 billion profit on loans made in 2011, $24 billion on loans made in 2012, and is expected to earn $33.5 billion on loans made in 2013. Well, doesn't that just icing the cake? Doesn't that explain why we were all told that it was such a good idea to put our asses so deeply in debt? Makes me sick! Alright guys, I've got two stories back to back and this isn't good. I, I showed the behind the, queen, behind the scenes Queen Christelle this and she told me not to yell. How can you not yell? I'm going to try. Headline number one from India.com. North Korea has no nuclear missile capability. Quote White House. Well, that's not reliable. Washington, the ever-reliable White House, has said that Washington did not believe North Korea had the capability to deploy a nuclear-armed missile. First of all, I want to be clear that North Korea has not demonstrated the capability to deploy a nuclear-armed missile. White House spokesman the ever-reliable Jay Carney on Friday told reporters at a briefing. But he noted that the U.S. continued to closely monitor North Korea's nuclear program, reported Zinhawa. That may be between golfing runs. Carney once said, well, Carney once again called upon Pyongyang to honor its international obligations. We have responded with a series of provocative actions, as well as the stepped-up bellicose rhetoric emanating from Pyongyang, by taking a series of prudent measures to ensure that our homeland and our allies are defended, he said, citing the step in enhancing the missile defense system. From that, we go on to Natural News. Mike Adams, nuclear bombshell. North Korea has nukes capable of striking neighboring nation sends Pentagon. Wait a minute. India.com. Repeat. According to the White House, North Korea has no nuclear missile capability. Repeat, nuclear bombshell. North Korea has nukes capable of striking neighboring nations, says Pentagon. Why do I feel like I am on Monty Python's flying circus and not the correct views? A classified defense intelligence agency reportedly described in testimony on Capitol Hill yesterday reveals that North Korea has a nuclear weapons capable of delivery by ballistic missiles. The U.S. has jointly declared WatchCon 2 status with North Korea. That is the highest level of military alert as North Korean missiles have been spotted on the launch position. Now, do you believe South Korea, who is a democratic society that lives right next door to Korea, or do you believe the White House, which has, which has lied to the American people ever since George Bush and has not stopped with Barack Obama? If you're an idiot, you believe Obama. This story was broken by the Christian Science Monitor a public and publicized by DrudgeReport.com. According to the report, Republican uh, Re Representative excuse me, Doug Longhorn, Lamhorn of Colorado quotes an unclassified edition of the DIA report which reads, quote, DIA, as this is with moderate confidence, the North currently has nuclear weapons capable of delivery by ballistic missiles. However, the reliability will be low. That means 
that our government knows is that North Korea can get nukes, at least to Guam, Hawaii, possibly the West Coast. They also know, and I, so does everyone hopefully listening to my voice, that North Korea has a real good probability that it's not going to go anywhere but the ocean. The point is, and I agree with Mike Adams here, if you're going to threaten the United States of America, then, then it is time for you to... It's time for you to realize we're going to come for you. And I, I agree. You have provoked the United States. And as much as I dislike the Obama presidency, North Korea, you have provoked us without reason. We have always done tests of unity with South Korea. Korea. And we have never bothered you. So if this video would ever find its way to anybody in the Korean government, listen to the average person, and that would be me, in the United States of America. What we have in our arsenal is legendary, and the average person prays to God that we will never have to use it. Don't make us. You are listening to The Correct Views. Thank you for doing so. Good night. God bless. Remember the happy puppy. Remember the charity connection. Remember that Nick Popa is one amazing freaking DJ. And please donate to this show if you can. Good night, friends, and God bless.